but uh, I'm joined now for uh, by Chuck Weckner. Chuck, thank you so much for joining us here thank on BBC you, uh, News. Chuck, you were the inspiration for the movie Rocky, and you went 15 rounds with Muhammad Ali yes. and lived to tell the tale. Well, I was in shape. You know, I never trained full time because I was never subsidized. But uh, Don King paid me to go away to camp. I got in great shape. Went 15 rounds with Ali, had him down in the ninth round. And uh, they made the movie uh, Rocky. Along made the movie Rocky shortly thereafter. And what's your memory of Muhammad Ali? What was he like? He was awesome. Awesome. He was so funny and so much fun and such a gentleman. And he always, I was with him, I toured with him for uh, about a week or 10 days there to play Mr. Tutike in Washington. And then we had a dinner with the president, President Jimmy Carter. And uh, he was so much fun. And my, in the ring, he was the best. He was the greatest. I hit him a lucky punch under the heart, a right hand to the body. He was all balanced. But other than that, boy, I tell you, felt like a butterfly sting like a bee. That was true. He must have been an absolutely ferocious competitor in the ring, though. He was. He was great. And he talked his stuff to you while I was fighting. You know, I see what you got, Whitey, and stuff like that. But it all went toward promoting the, promoting the fight. And of all the fights that he had, which one is the most memorable to you? It had to be me going 15 rounds. But other than that, the uh, first fight with Joe Frazier, the 15 rounds. Uh, that was the end of an era. After that, fighters didn't fight 15 anymore like we did. But that fight with Joe Frazier was just awesome. And when you see all the crowds that have turned out here today to celebrate him as a boxer and also to celebrate his legacy outside the ring, uh, how moving is it for you when considering that you knew him? Actually, it broke my heart. When I heard it, I was just about in tears. You know, you, you expect somebody like Muhammad Ali, who's a living legend, to never die. You're hoping he never dies because the world needs people like Ali. And when he finally passed away, and we called one of his daughters, Mei Mei, uh, Miriam, and she said, my father's so sick near the end, Chuck. And, uh, felt a little better. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're so sick, maybe it's better that God lets you go and join him upstairs. But Chuck, you're a boxer. You know the toll it takes on the body. Do you feel it took a toll on Muhammad Ali that his Parkinson's was somehow related to the boxing? Oh, definitely. Definitely. It's definitely related to the, to the boxing. And, uh, you know, it takes toll on everybody. I'm so lucky I fought 147 amateur and pro fights and, uh, for 21 years. And uh, I'm still okay. You know, I'm 77 years old. I'm seven pounds when I fought for the title. Oh, that hurt me. Anyway, uh, but I feel great. I'm with my, my third wife, Linda. Hi, how are you? Good is, to see uh, you, Linda. You're live on BBC. Yeah, she, oh, she okay, saved my BBC. Life. My there wife. you go. Yeah. Naomi Watts, right? Yeah, yeah well, she's starring, she's playing Linda in the movie about it. Naomi oh, Watts. Oh, my gosh. Naomi Watts. Well, that's yeah. lucky am I. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's uh, cool. But I'm not surprised that she's yeah. playing you. Yeah, <laughs> she's Tribe is playing me, and Naomi Watts is playing her. We have a whole bunch of stars in it. We have six major stars in it. Well, and, uh, we're looking forward to it. All right, Chuck, just a final question for you. Uh, as we remember Muhammad Ali here today, what's your absolute favorite memory of him? The first time I met him. First time I met him, uh, we did the uh, met him very personally talk to him, was on the Mike Douglas show. And uh, we sat there for half an hour going back and forth, and I was just so impressed by his, his uh, ability to to tell jokes and his ability to talk well and you know and uh, he was a sharp guy very sharp guy and uh, I consider myself pretty sharp telling jokes and come back and we went one for one and uh, uh, we had a great time that night. Chuck Webner, Mrs. Webner, thank you so much thank for you. joining us here you have on a good BBC day. News. Thank Bye -bye. you very thank much you. indeed. Thank, thank you for you your for memories your of Muhammad sure. Ali. Well, I'm going to call Naomi when we get back and tell her. You do here. that. Thank you very much, Chuck. So, so many memories uh, being shared with us here on BBC News of Muhammad Ali. You can see there the car that's carrying his casket processing through the streets of Louisville, carrying him to the Cave Hill Cemetery where he will be buried in a private ceremony. Then this afternoon, 
the memorial service, that star-studded memorial service with President Bill Clinton, among others, uh, delivering a eulogy. And people have come here from across the world, from across America, to pay their respects and to pay tribute to Muhammad Ali.